Hey, what's up everyone? Jeremy here, and I'm going to show you how to use Sublime Text, but first we're going to need to install it. Head over to sublimetext.com. Now, I'd recommend choosing version 4, or you can choose version 3 or 2, but I'd recommend version 4. Choose what build you want, whether it's for Mac, Windows, or for Linux. I'm using Windows, so I'll choose Windows. Now, once you have Sublime downloaded, go ahead and get it installed as well. Just follow the straightforward prompts, nothing special here. And now we're going to open it up. Now you're going to end up with a screen that looks like this. And this will be unregistered until you add a license. You go over here to buy. You can get a license and support this awesome team uh, for making this product. Go to the uh, help, I believe. Yep, right over here. Any of your license. And then it will be you know, unlocked and all that good stuff. All right, so let's check some things out. Here at the bottom, we have a list of the current languages that are supported from C++ to JavaScript, Python, all this good stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and test this by seeing if we can output to the console. We'll just do a basic print. So there is certain code that Sublime is able to populate the code as needed when it can assume what you're writing. That's going to be, you know, an autocorrect feature. And if we wanted to build this, we can either press Control B or we can go over here to Tools and click Build. And that's going to show that we are connected to the console and Python is working inside of here, which natively it's going to work anyways. So Sublime is even more powerful once you learn the common hotkeys, as well as a few that are less common. One of those cooler hotkeys to use is a multi-line editing hotkey, which after selecting the lines, either by manual selection or with Control A for Windows or Command A for Mac, you can select all the lines and edit them accordingly. So I'm just going to copy this a bunch of times for this example. So after selecting the lines, either by manual selection or by Control A for Windows or Command A for Mac, you can select all lines and then press Control Shift L or Command Shift L for Mac, and you can add, remove, or otherwise edit multiple lines at the exact same time. So let's go ahead and select everything. We're going to want to press Control Shift L. That'll separate all the lines. So maybe we wanted to change all the different values of these instead of saying hello, say anything else and it would change them all at the exact same time. So it's pretty useful and neat when you're working with larger files especially. If you prefer a larger font or alternative color scheme, we have a range of different customization options available as well. If you go over here to preferences, you know a white version if you wanted. I'm gonna go back to the original. I feel like the black background's better on the eyes so I prefer that one. So all these features are nice but really why use it at the end of the day? The number one reason is speed. And because of this, it's an extremely popular choice for competitive programming. Sublime owes its speed to the C++ and Python foundation it's built upon. Outside of the speed, though, it's lightweight, performs great with large files, and overall, it's stable with plenty of updates. If there is functionality you find lacking, packages can extend out Sublime's ability substantially. It's really everything you're needing and more out of a code editor. Anyways, that's going to do it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.